So let's start with statistics. Imagine I buy, I bought a lot at 550 and it's now up with 5 million in less than one year. So let the client get that into his imagination also. Imagine if you're buying for 1.5 million now. Think about the value in one year time. That means your lot can be going for as high as 3 million or more. Because all the estates that are fencing now, in the space of one year, they will have finished fencing. I mean, virtually all the bushes on that road will have disappeared because a lot of developments are happening there. That entire estate will have been fenced and the value will have shut up. The value will be more. This is what they are buying. They need to understand the history of your value, where you are coming from. And once they know where you're coming from and where you are now, the price they are buying today is where you are now. Now let them see where you are going to. It is simply explaining the value system to them. So, imagine now when, start, when block starts rising, customers are going to start erecting structures on that land, and you see the value skyrocket again. Statistically, they need to see that it is 550 today and it has jumped to 1.5. How much percent increase is that? That is over 100% increase in less than one year. So they see that and they are both all. So are you telling me that in less than one year, I can also experience over 100% increase? The answer is yes. So let them know how that will happen. The fencing will be completed. A lot of persons are allocated. The pushes here will give way. All the estates on this road will be almost fenced because they're all currently working. And by the time you get here, this road will be as busy as you can think. And that will impart on the value of your land. And that is why we're charging them for development fee. Because that is what the money is serving for. The estate has been developed, fencing has been done, gatehouse has been done, government documentations are being done, and these are all increasing the value of the estate. And so that is what your client is paying for. And that is what they need to understand. They are not buying land, but you are trying to sell land to them. And that's why they are having you so many questions. And why is the land not so expensive? And why is that why is land so expensive in this? They are not buying land. Sister, if you are buying land, you could have bought the land in your village. Well, the difference between the land in your village and the land in the bay is simply the value shifts. And they need to understand that value shifting over time. That value expansion over time and the future of that value. Now, on statistics also, it may show them to know that Equa is experiencing massive development. Go to the food hall and show them the video of when it's starting and where it is now. Go to Omu Road, show them the video of the downwater construction of that road and all leading to Equa. I mean, let them understand your value proposition and it all comes from you narrating the value history to them then you can sell to them intelligently how do i mean tap into their brain let them understand what is coming into this estate the laws we develop it that will be coming into this estate the future, how, I mean, the ambience, everything that is coming to the estate. Let them see pictures, images of what is coming into the estate. And number three, they will also make a purchase decision emotionally. And jokingly, like I tell people, that the best time to buy a pair is now. You wait one more year time, you're going to be buying at a more expensive price. And you may not be able to buy at all then. Because the money you have now that you're not using to buy it now, you don't know if the money will be there tomorrow. God forbid we know that people always pray that they are worth to sustain. But the best way to sustain the value of your money is to put it in sustainable assets like real estate. So, tell them the history of Becky. As some persons bought when it was cheaper, and some have to buy at an expensive rate, 200 million. But some persons bought at the same level, 50,000. 
and imagine what their children will be today inheriting assets that is about 200 million and for those who are going to make the decision to buy a pay now the history that will tell their children that they had the opportunity to buy a pay when it was two million but they refused and now it pays 200 million and they cannot buy it anymore emotionally tapping through their emotions by narrating values to them and what they will become if they buy it now for themselves and for their children now i think we've run through the whole value story the value yesterday the value today and the value in the future